How you doing today? Today's video is uh, it's not really a video for anybody like uh, Mass Tutorial or anything like that. This is a video for uh, Bra Braddock001. Uh, um, Brad, I noticed in your video, I, I sent you a message about this, and I, but I noticed in the video you're having an issue with your C-3PO helmet. Um, you were going over some of the props you have, which are pretty badass. But you were telling me, or you were telling everybody that pretty much the eyes were dremeled out, cleaned out too much, so they're a few millimeters uh, too big for the actual eyepieces, so therefore you really haven't done any work on it. I have a way to fix that. Um, imagine this tape, roll of tape being the the eye socket, cleaned out too much, and it's the helmet of course is built around it. Now I've done this before with helmets in the past where I wanted to build up the neckline of the helmet but the concept is the same for the issue you're having uh, in order to take away you need to add two okay but in order to add two well that's pretty simple you can buy if you don't have any uh, like smooth cast 320 321 um, you can use resin resin works uh, some form of a resin whether it this is a smooth cast product or just an aqua resin that might work as well. Rondo would work. Um, but what you're going to do is you can use cardstock uh, and tape. You can use just tape as long as like duct tape. You can use um, cardboard hot glue. Pretty much what you want to do is you want to take your eye socket and you want to seal off the, in this case, you want to uh, seal off either the back, the back would work, but you want to use uh, some thin uh, cardstock. You could also, in this case, actually, I recommend sealing off the front. And you want to take this eye socket and you want to take your cardstock or your tape or your cardboard and literally put it over the eye. And you can actually make it to the shape of the eye if you want to put the paper right on it and then hot glue around your edges you want to seal your edges up and then what you want to do is you want to mix up your resin a very small batch of resin and you want to mix it really well slush it around in your cup for a little bit wait till it gets closer to curing so you're not having this a mass amount of liquid sitting on paper which eventually will seep through so you want the liquid to sit on there the least amount of time as possible so you want to stir, let it shake around your cup. You yourself already know how it takes to cure anyway. You can feel it warming up, shaking around, warming up. And you're going to take the helmet and you're going to hold it like this. So where the eyes are downward. And then you're going to take your batch and you're just going to pour it right in the eye socket. Okay? And then it, it should be within seconds of flashing. Okay? So you pour it in there, boom, it flashes. Now when you take your tape, or your paper or whatever you want off the front okay you clean your edges up uh, hot glue scrapes right off the paper itself in the eye socket in this region in here will probably be stuck because it's got plastic behind it now and now what that did is it closed off your eye socket again it made it scratch like it was never cleaned out that whole eye socket on the back side will be filled in and that allows you to take your template draw your eye socket back on the way it should be and redrill a hole and then recut out the entire spot to the size you need to be, which is smaller. So pretty much you're adding the plastic back into it just so you can redrill it and reclean it out and not go past the size it needs to be this time. Um, I'm, I, I think that's pretty simple to explain. Seal, pour it securing, makes new plastic, drill, clean it out to the size you need. Um, well, I hope that helps. Let me know. And, uh, Okay, Brad, talk to you later.